Hi, I want to talk to you about the importance of plastic. Uh, this face cradle is not ours. It's supposed to have two arms, but one broke off. And the idea is that when you make things out of plastic, you can't tell by looking at it whether the plastic material, the raw material, was good or whether the, uh, the plastic molder cheated by adding reground material from anything, any scrap. Literally, they sweep the floor, they throw the scraps or the bad stuff into a chopper, chops it all up, they put it back into, into the machine on top, add a little bit more black dye, and, and you can get reused stuff, but it has no strength. Once it's been through that heating and cooling process, its, uh, it's molecular structure has changed. It's got no strength. Uh, another thing that affects plastic is the is the cycle time of the machine. The machine goes in and out making these parts, and if you do it too fast uh, or you cool it too slow, it gets heat and you know, pressure and cooling, then you get what you see here, bubbles, and, and altogether it breaks. So here on on our face cradles, we have you know nice nice arms. I mean they're made strong. They're not gonna they're not going to break. You have metal arms to begin with, and um, yet I'm not. I hate to name names, but it's right here. It says this is made by Strong Light. Maybe they should call it Weak Light or Cheap Light. Pardon me, I couldn't. I couldn't help it. It was too easy. Uh, at Master, we know about plastic, and we know the proper way to mold stuff. And you know what? We wouldn't let this happen. It just doesn't happen to our stuff.